Ever wondered how your computer works? What makes it tick? What causes it to perform tasks at lightning speed? Well, that's all down to its architecture. But what is computer architecture? Simply put, it's a description of the structure of a computer system made from component parts. It can be a high-level description that overlooks the nitty-gritty details, or a more detailed one that includes the instruction set, architecture design, microarchitecture design, logic design, and implementation. Our journey into the evolution of computer architecture begins in the correspondence between Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace, where the first documented computer architecture was described. This was while building the computer Z1 in 1936. In two patent applications, Conrad Zeus outlined the concept of machine instructions being stored in the same storage used for data, introducing the world to the stored program concept. The next significant leap came in 1945, with John von Neumann's paper, first draft of a report on the EVAC, which described an organization of logical elements. Alan Turing also contributed to this evolution with his detailed, proposed electronic calculator for the automatic computing engine, which cited von Neumann's work. As we delve deeper into the history, we encounter Lyle R. Johnson and Frederick P. Brooks Jr. from IBM's main research center in 1959. Johnson was tasked with writing a research communication about the stretch, an IBM-developed supercomputer for Los Alamos National Laboratory. To describe the level of detail for discussing this luxuriously embellished computer, he coined the term system architecture. Brooks, a stretch designer, used the term computer architecture in his book, Planning a Computer System, Project Stretch, and defined it as the art of determining the needs of the user of a structure and then designing to meet those needs as effectively as possible within economic and technological constraints. He later helped develop the IBM System 360 line of computers, where architecture became a noun defining what the user needs to know. In the early days, computer architectures were designed on paper and then directly built into the final hardware form. As technology advanced, computer architecture prototypes were physically built in the form of a transistor-transistor logic TTL computer. These prototypes were tested and tweaked before committing to the final hardware form. Since the 90s, new computer architectures are typically built, tested, and tweaked inside some other computer architecture, in a computer architecture simulator, or inside a FPGA as a soft microprocessor, before committing to the final hardware form. To sum it all up, computer architecture is a critical aspect of any computer system. It involves determining the needs of the user and designing the system to meet those needs. It has evolved significantly over the years, from being built directly into hardware to being tested and tweaked in simulators before finalization. And as technology continues to advance, we can only anticipate what the future holds for computer architecture. So the next time you use your computer, remember, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye.